Diabetics and breast cancer, the correlation so far. Are you a diabetic who's worried about breast cancer? Whether you've been diagnosed with breast cancer or simply want to protect yourself, it's important to know how one disease affects the other. Research has helped us understand how the two are related, but much of the science behind why is still inconclusive. Diabetic women already keep a close watch over their health, but many worry about the additional risks of cancer. The medical community sees the correlation between diabetes and breast cancer, but they don't understand the specifics. That's why we're here to keep you in the know, which is the first step in both treatment and prevention. We've broken down what doctors tell us based on each of the three types of diabetes. But first, we'd like to thank our sponsor, the company who developed Breast Cancer Index, a test that may help women with ER-positive, early-stage breast cancer decide with their doctors whether to extend or end anti-estrogen therapy after five years. Type 1 diabetes. Fortunately, women with type 1 diabetes aren't shown to be at greater risk for developing breast cancer. The studies aren't conclusive, but so far scientists haven't found a correlation. Let's get it out of the way up front. Women with type 2 diabetes are significantly more likely to be diagnosed with more advanced stage breast cancer than those without diabetes. Studies have also shown that diabetic women have a higher risk for lymph node metastases, as well as tumors bigger than 2 centimeters. That's the worst of it. What it means is that women with type 2 diabetes need to be even more vigilant with their screenings. Thankfully, cancer isn't inevitable. And there are plenty of habits that will reduce your risk. Obesity, unhealthy eating, and a lack of exercise increases the risk in all women for developing not just breast cancer, but type 2 diabetes as well. It's suggested that 90-95% to of diabetics are type 2. This contributes to a 20 to 27% increased risk of breast cancer in postmenopausal women 50 and older. However, doctors are still unsure of why women with type 2 are at higher risk of breast cancer. Some speculate it's due to increased inflammation or higher insulin and glucose levels. So far, women with gestational diabetes haven't shown an increased risk for developing breast cancer. The largest risk for patients with gestational diabetes is their higher risk for type 2 diabetes. As many as 35-65% to 65 of women with gestational will develop type 2 within the next 10-20 to 20 years. We think all women should be mindful of living healthy lifestyles. This is a no-brainer for women with diabetes, but it's important to stay extra vigilant with your self-checkups and screenings. We recommend talking with your doctor about advanced mammograms if you're a woman with type 2 diabetes. To get more practical tips for breast cancer patients, be sure to subscribe to Breast Cancer Answers here and leave your own questions in the comments below. We'll do our best to answer your questions in future videos. Finally, we'd like to thank our sponsor, the company who developed Breast Cancer Index. To find out more about your treatment options beyond your five, just click the button and download a free list of 15 questions to go through with your doctor.